diesel power source. A common question we get here at DPS is how to adjust the wastegate on your turbo to produce more or less boost. What we have here is one of our DTEC turbos. First off, you want to locate the two little jam nuts on the wastegate shaft. These two nuts are tightened together tightly or jammed together so they will force the shaft to turn. These nuts are supposed to be midway up on the shaft. Their nut size will either be 10 millimeter or 14 millimeter. To increase boost, you need to tighten the wastegate or shorten the rod. You can do this by simply turning or tightening either of the nuts so that it shortens the shaft. You will probably want to do this by turning the higher nut, the one closer to the actuator or the wastegate head. By doing so, you are essentially tightening the spring that is on the diaphragm in here. This will change the distance that the wastegate can open. This direction will tighten the wastegate and turning it the other direction will loosen the wastegate. As a warning, be careful that you do not loosen the wastegate too much because the valves inside will open too wide causing contact with the cover. The valves could bend or break or bend the cover and that's how you adjust your wastegate. If you have a pressure regulator and want to set a certain pressure, this is how you do it. This is also how you pressurize the wastegate and cycle it. Pull this tube off the compressor side, not the wastegate head. Then take a blow tube hooked to your air compressor. Use a regulator if you have one. It's always a good idea to use one and regulate it at your compressor or at the connection here. This will cycle the wastegate. However, be careful and gently apply air pressure because if you blow more than about 80 PSI in this tube, you stand a chance of breaking the diaphragm inside the actuator. So do not blow really high air pressure in here. By pressurizing the wastegate, it will cause it to open. If I loosen the wastegate, it is going to open considerably more, which will cause the wastegate to open earlier and build less boost. That was two full turns. Each turn will change the PSI in the ballpark of three or four pounds. Tightening the wastegate will cause the wastegate to open later and build more boost and not open as wide. And that's how you adjust the wastegate and change the boost pressure. It is highly recommended to do so only with a regulator. If you want to set the wastegate so it only cracks at a certain pressure, you will adjust the nuts until the desired PSI barely moves the wastegate. Like this. Okay, to complete this, you simply need to remember to put your wastegate hose back on. Uh, if you don't put it on, you'll have a massive boost leak when you fire the truck up. There you go.